Hey guys, Sock here from Sock Ticket. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the brand new features and changes on One UI 3.1. Now, as you know, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is in fact running on One UI 3.1. So I'm going to go to my About Phone and then I'm going to go into my Software Information. And as you can see, we have One UI 3.1. Android 11 with the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra that I have over here we have One UI 3.0 so I'm going to have them side by side so you guys can see exactly what is new on One UI 3.1 and these features are soon going to trickle down to other Samsung phones as we get the 3.1 update. So anyway let's dive in and get started right away. Now make sure to stick till the end because there's also a lot of new camera features in One UI 3.1 that I'm gonna be covering in this video towards the end. All right, so let's dive in and get started right away. The very first thing I'm gonna talk about has to do with your phone application. So if I launch my phone application, if I tap on my settings, okay, let's do the same thing on both of these phones. And if I go into the call background, you will notice that if I go to the background option here, we have some additional video backgrounds for calls. So when somebody calls you, you can see this if you want, okay? So this is either when you're calling somebody or when you're getting an incoming call, or if you go over here, you can see this video uh, in the background, okay? Or you can tap on this one and you can play this one. You have the option to use the video sound as a ringtone if you do use one of these video backgrounds, okay? So I'm not a big fan of this one, uh, but this one right here is pretty nice and this one right here is in fact pretty nice all right so let's move on and talk about the next feature now when i go back into my settings over here okay let's go to settings let's go over to display uh, you will notice that on one ui 3.0 we have something known as the blue light filter now on the one ui 3.1 it is called eye comfort shield now they do the same exact thing okay but now they have different names and a slightly different menu layout. So with this one, for example, if I tap on uh, enable, and if I go inside, I can uh, choose from turn on now or turn on as scheduled. Uh, with this one, I can turn this on and simply go for the adaptive option and the phone will handle the whole blue light filter. Or I can go to custom and then I get the same options as you see right here, again, with a slightly different look. Okay, so that's another change that we have. Let's move on. Next thing I wanna talk about has to do with advanced features. So if I go to my advanced features right now, okay, uh, let's go over here, advanced features, here and here. We actually have a brand new menu option known as continue apps on other devices. We don't have that on One UI 3.0. Now, if I click on this, this basically is app continuity so let's say you were doing something on your samsung galaxy smartphone and then you went to move over to your samsung galaxy tablet you can continue doing what you were doing on your phone on the tablet on the larger screen so you can pause the screen and read the description here the one requirement this feature is you have to be signed in with the same samsung account on both the phone and the other Samsung device that you're trying to achieve this setting with. So that is certainly a new addition to the advanced features option. Now, one more thing under advanced features, if you go down a little bit, okay, what we have is we have something known as the video call effects. Now, this is actually pretty amazing. So if I go inside, what you can do is you can add background effects to video calls. So if you're doing a video call with anybody, you can add a background blur effect. So the background is blurred, but your face is in focus. Or you can have the background become an actual color and then just your face shows up. All right, so here's an actual example of the effects that I'm talking about. So the background, as you can see, is completely blue, but my face is in nice and clear focus. Or if you want, you can actually insert an image to the background and you can pick an image from your gallery. Now this option only applies when you're doing a video call. And right now I only have the Duo application, the Google Duo application. So it is gonna be supporting that. And also remember it says battery usage will increase while using the video call effects. 
So when you use these fancy features, you are sacrificing some battery life. The next thing is actually a very nice security feature that a lot of people don't think about. So if I go to my gallery over here, okay, uh, remember that every photo that you take saves its location in the photo. So when you share that photo with somebody else, they can see where that photo was taken on a map. In fact, if I swipe this up, it shows the exact location on the map and the address of where this photo is taken. And of course, I have to blur that out. Now, the good news is when you try to share this photo with somebody else, you press the share button, you actually get a little option here to remove the location data before you share this with one of your contacts. That is just great. Now, if I were to go to my photos right here, for example, let's tap on share for that photo, okay? Uh, you're not gonna see that option as you can see it says, it does not say remove location data. So that's a nice little security feature. The next thing that we have with One UI 3.1 that's very, very welcome is if I, if I pinch the screen and if I go over, uh, a lot of people don't like Samsung free. So One UI 3.0 gives you the option to choose either from Samsung free or you can go for Google Discover. So here's the Samsung free option right here. Uh, some people just don't like this. So if I swipe over, that, that's what you get, the Samsung free. You can tap this button. You can go to categories, whatever, okay? And then we have the same thing over here. So let's go back out. Now what you have is you have the option to pinch the screen and just go for Google Discover, uh, which I think is much better. It's gonna be based on your actual Google account and Google search history. So everything here is gonna be relevant to you. So you have that brand new option with One UI 3.1. One more thing I noticed in the clock application is if I launch the clock application, okay, we do have a new feature here. Uh, it seems to be available with One UI 3.1 only. So if I go to my clock application here, I now have a brand new option. When I click this right here, you will notice that we have the set, set bedtime alarm. So when I click on it, basically it gives you the option uh, to get healthier sleep by going to bed and waking up at the same time. And this alarm feature is gonna allow you to track it so you remain on track. I can tap on next. I can set my sleep schedule right from here. We do not have that option right over here. Uh, other than that, everything else seems to be uh, the same as you can see. And of course, under world clock, you can tap on these and it's gonna give you a map of the world. Just so you know, that's uh, available on both of these guys. Now, another pretty amazing feature is if you pull this thing down, on the top, you'll see that we have uh, the devices tab here. Now we have that on both of these devices. If I pull this down, devices, devices. Now when I tap on this, okay, uh, here I get connected to all the devices via my Samsung phone's application, which is a smart things application. Here, when I tap on devices, I am actually able to connect. Either I can use my smart things, which this and this is the same thing, or I can just directly go into all my smart lights or any other smart home accessories that are connected to my Google Home account. So you can access that right from here. So that's the same thing as if I went to the My Home application for Google Home application, and I get to see all my devices right here. These are all my smart lights. Now I can pull this down, tap on devices, and just go over here and go for the Home option, and I've got all the controls right here. So they're really nice. So if I wanna turn on a light in my bedroom, I can just click on this light, and I can actually decrease the light's brightness just like this. It tells me how much they are as well. Turn off, turn on, increase or decrease the brightness, easy access right from the top, right here under devices, not available on One UI 3.0. Here, you can only access the devices in your SmartThings app. Here, you can do it both on SmartThings and Google Home. So that is a brand new integration. Now, we do have some new additions to our camera. So let me launch the cameras right now. I'm gonna go to single take. So single take is now improved. On the top, we have a brand new menu. You tap on this one, and this allows you to customize what you want your single take option to do. So if you don't want highlight videos, you disable that. If you don't want the speed effect clips, you disable that, and then you do your single take, 
and only get what you want. Here, you don't have the option. It just does everything by default. So that is in fact a smart addition. I like what they did there, okay? Now we have another thing here also. In the video, uh, normally if I wanna change the resolution of my video, I would have to tap on settings and I would have to change the resolution here, okay? And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I do prefer this, it just looks nice and clean. But on this one with One UI 3.1, I can tap here and I can change the resolution. So that's 4K at 60. Over here, I would have to go here and tap on 4K at 60. Now again, if I wanna do 8K, I swipe over, that's 8K at 24. With this one, I just have to go right over here. So that is another difference in the actual camera. And of course, we do have one more thing. Let's go back over here to camera. Let me just exit the whole thing. If you go to more, we have the brand new director's view for One UI 3.1. I'm pretty sure the director's view is gonna trickle down to One UI 3.0 devices. So with the director's view, I can record myself and I can also access all the other three cameras. Now, right now they look black because the camera is looking at flat on the table. All right, so, but here's what it's gonna look like in real life. So here I have my telephoto camera. If I click the middle option, it's gonna give me the regular, uh, the regular lens, okay? And then if I click on this one, it's gonna be the super wide. So I can switch between these and record as I please, which is great. But that's the ultra wide, that's the standard, and that is the optical camera that I can see right from here. And that is my actual selfie camera, okay? So I can record myself and record whatever is in front of me. And I also have the option to tap this button here and I can do a split screen view. So now I have a split screen view on the top. I'm using a rear camera and I can choose the rear camera again, ultra wide, wide zoom, and that's gonna show up right here. Fantastic brand new feature. One UI 3.1. Now one more thing you are gonna notice is the live focus option here is now changed to portray. So the name has changed. They do the same thing. They get you those portray shots with background blur. So it used to be known as live focus. Now it's known as portray. And then with the portray video, it is. it used to be live focus video. And now it is in fact portray video, all right? And that's all the changes in the camera. Now, those are some of the major changes, but if I go into my settings over here, there's some minor changes as well. So if I go to my sounds and vibration, for example, look at that at the bottom under vibration patterns right here, I have this one here for calls. And over here, I have now the, uh, the same option for the notification. So I can change the way I get vibrated for my notifications independently of my calls. And if I go over here, you can see we have even more options, okay? So more vibration pattern options. Additionally, you also get notification vibration patterns. Not a huge change, but it's there, all right? And that is basically all I wanted to talk about in this video. That's actually all the changes that I've noticed myself. If you have noticed something else, drop a comment down below and let me know. I'm also thinking about making a video separately just for the camera functions, but explain them in more detail and with actual example. But anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.